Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how you can install Hyperland in a base configuration on Manjaro Linux. Based on DistroWatch, Manjaro Linux is one of the most famous and downloaded Arch Linux based distributions today. It's known for its great usability, nice looking desktops and performance. To make your and my life easier to install a Hyperland base configuration on Manjaro Linux, I have created a Hyperland starter package. The Hyperland starter contains an installation script to install the core components, the core packages of a Hyperland installation, plus the related configurations. With this, you will get a perfect starting point for your Hyperland experiments. The Hyperland starter package is available on GitLab on my repository and ready for you to download. You will find the link in the description below. And with that, let's start. First of all, we have to download the Manjaro ISO. And to do this, I open the manjaro.org, click on download, choose x86-64 as a platform for laptops and desktops, and click here on Plasma Desktop on download. The minimal package is enough, and I choose download minimal image. And the download has started. If the download is done, you can, of course, create a bootable USB stick with the ISO and can install Manjaro on bare metal on your real machine. I will install Manjaro in a virtual machine and can therefore use the ISO directly. Okay, download is done and we can start with creating a virtual machine. I'm here in VidManager. I select in the first step the downloaded ISO. Here is it. I enter here Manjaro. Here it is. And click on forward. 8 gigs and 12 CPUs. Hard drive of 25 gigs is enough for this demonstration. I click on forward and I click here on customize configuration before install. Because I will change now the firmware to UEFI in the boot options, I select here the CD-ROM, move it to the top because this is our installation media and I enable 3D acceleration in the virtual machine and click on apply. And now we are ready for the installation. I click here on begin installation and switch to full screen. I select in the boot menu Europe and Berlin. The keyboard layout is D and I will boot with open source drivers. And Manjaro is booting up. And we are here in the live environment of Manjaro and can here launch the installer to install the operating system on the hard drive and click on next. Time zone is fine. The keyboard layout is German. Click on next. I will install it on the hard drive and the installer will erase the disk. My credentials. I use the same password for the administrator account and I click on next. And now we are ready to start the installation. This will take some minutes and I'm back when the installation is done. The installation is done and we can restart the system. Okay, and here's the login screen and I can already log in into Manjaro. Very nice loader. And I can check if there are updates available because the system should be up to date. 
it seems that the system is up to date. This is great. And we can start with the installation of Hyperlint. To do this, I open the console and check if Git is installed. Git is installed, perfect, because this is required, because now we git clone the Hyperlint starter package from my repository. gitlab.com slash stefan hyphen rabe slash hyperlint hyphen starter dot git. Let's open the installation file for a second with the editor. It's kwrite and I open the install and h in the hyperlint starter and the install.sh file. And here you see that there is nothing fancy in. The most important part is here the sudo command, yeah, where I install the main packages um, for a hyperlint base configuration. So hyperlint, of course, waybar is the status bar, Rofi and Wofi as uh, application launches, Kitty and Alacrity as terminals, Dunst is the notification manager, Dolphin the file manager, the XDG desktop portal, Hyperlint for screen sharing, QD5 valent, QD6 valent, Hyperpaper to set up a wallpaper, Chromium is here the default browser, and the TrueType font awesome to set up icons in Waybar. The last step in the installation script is just asking if the script should copy all predefined configurations from the Hyperlint starter package into the .config folder, and then every, everything should work correctly. Before we start, let me change the screen resolution to 1920 to 1080. I will keep this, and now we are ready to go. I cd into the Hyperlint starter folder and execute the command one install.sh. The script asks me if I want to start the installation now. Yes, I want to do this. Of course, sudo pacman requires my password. And the installation procedure starts. And now I will let the script copy the configurations of the application into the .config folder. The next step is that I will change the keyboard layout to DE because the default is US and the screen resolution. Let's check this by CD into the home directory and then into the .config folder. And here you see already that Alacrity configuration is there, for example, Rofi is there, wallpaper. A wallpaper is um, copied into the config folder, Waybar is there, and of course, Hyper, let's cd into Hyper and open the hyperland.conf. I will use again the editor. I will show the hidden files because the config folder is a dot folder. Here's the config folder. I open here Hyper and the hyperland.conf. I will change here the screen resolution yeah, to 1920 to 1080. And I switch off the scaling mode with the one parameter. You see a Waybar and Hyper paper will be, in, will be launched with Hyperlent. The keyboard layout is here. So I will change from US to DE in my case. And when a scroll down further, you see here also special key bindings. Um, super key return will open Alacrity, but you can also switch back to the default um, of Hyperlent by super key Q to execute Kitty. Um, I kill the active application with super key Q, but you can also switch back to the default with super key C. But let's test it. I save the changes and log out. And I can change the session to Hyperlint. Let's enter the password. And let's see what happens. 
And here is Hyperland with Waybar on top with icons from Font Awesome and also showing the right workspaces. So, for example, I open here Alacrity and again Alacrity and I can switch between the workspace with Super Key 1 and Super Key 2. I can open Chromium with Super Key B. I can open Dolphin with Super Key E. I can open Rofi with Control Super Key Return. And I can then execute an application, for example, Kate. That's it. Was easy, right? With the starter script. I hope you like it. And with the starter script, you have a great Hyperland to start your personal Hyperland experiments. Have fun with it and see you next time.